Hello and welcome. Welcome to Yoga Solutions with me, Mark J. Aquaviva. Hope you are doing fantastically wherever you are on this gorgeous planet of ours. Uh, it's a glorious day today after <laughs> it being awful rain yesterday. Um, yeah, yesterday I was, I was putting the roof on, um, on the uh, potting shed I'm making for Abigail and it was uh, hailing and the wind was, it felt like 100 miles an hour. It was awful. But uh, it had to be done because um, uh, the roof, I didn't want the roof to get soggy. But anyway, I don't know why I'm telling you that. It's just where I'm at. Um, yeah, so welcome. And uh, Yoga Solutions. So here we go. Um, let's put my other screen on. There we go. Yes, so uh, today I wanted to talk about the relationships between inside and outside, from within and without. And uh, I, I, uh, a lot of our complications, a lot of our stiffnesses, a lot of our difficulties in our joints um, occur when those relationships between uh, within and without are in conflict with each other. And yeah, I'd like to share with you something, a way of approaching that simplifies that potential complication. The, the standard complication that most people experience is that they hold themselves together on the inside. Um, primary example is the, the hips and the groins. Um, another one is your, your neck and shoulders. Um, what else? Uh, well, uh, your lower back is another place. You know, uh, we, we hold ourselves together, and then we trip, when we relax, we we uh, we tend to sort of keep holding ourselves together whilst we give our relaxable weight down, so we're not interacting with the world. And um, that inner tension makes us kind of heavy and stiff, basically. And if you want to experience the lightness that you can have from your practice or you can, the lightness you can have in daily life if you find this relationship between within and without that is supportive that's what that's all it is that's all we need you know the body is not doing anything wrong when it's holding you tight in the groin so it's not it's not doing anything wrong when you when it's holding you up with your upper back and neck and shoulders or lower back even um it's supporting you and that's what we need is we need support so the body's doing what you're asking it to do. But if you want a nicer experience, a nice way of looking at it is if, if what you're looking for is space on the inside, freedom, um, you need to feel support from what you're doing outwards. So just try this as a simple example. If you uh, turn to one side, chances are the way you did that would be by pulling yourself around on the inside. Okay, that's happened. Um, there are better ways of doing it, but if you notice that that's what you've done, there'll be a kind of a holding feeling, a restriction. And if you have uh, pain in your groins through overuse, then you'll notice it. But if you don't, you probably probably won't. It'll just feel like tension. Um, when you get there, though, put your hands down and um, get into supporting yourself from your hands. Now, how do you do that? Well, you, you have to be able to give some of your weight to your hands. And as you do that, you need to relax your lower back. If you can let go of holding yourself up, your lower back, if you can start to trust your hands as a point of reference, point of support, then you might find that those two things go together. You know, you'll be able to relax your lower back because you lean into and trust the downward touch of your hands. If you're sitting back holding yourself up and putting your hands down, you might feel it. So you need to be able to lean some of your weight there without the arms having to do a big push up. Okay? So See if you can find what I'm talking about, where you 
give weight to your hands so that you can relax your back. And the moment you do that, alongside the relaxation of the back, the lower half of the body, the core, will hopefully feel a bit lighter. And it's to do with you engaging with support through your arms and, well, through your hands, but back from that, your wings. Your wings are in space, your hands are on your lap. So there's a sense of two directions in the use of the arms. It's not being heavy on your hands and pushing your weight away. It's giving your weight through to your hands, lightly, as your wings engage with space. So the wings like to be a little bit behind you. What you're doing with your face will um, influence your experience. So if you're hanging your head, then you'll just feel that weight on your hands and it will be a heavy thing for your arms to support. But if, you're, if you kind of take your attention to space, and the way to do that is through uh, natural actions. You know, if you're interested in something other than yourself, if you're interested in space while supporting yourself, uh, your weight uh, uh, with your hands, that relationship to space will make it um, not too heavy, not unduly pushy for the arms to support you. So you'll have a lower back, a relaxed lower back, a relaxing but sort of empty emptying core because you're not having to you're not being heavy down against it and within that just allow yourself to drift around with wherever your uh, face is interested so I, I like to sort of play with imagining that I'm presenting my face for a kiss you know that that helps the upper spine uh, the spine behind the heart rest forward I like to sigh the breath out with a kind of um, a wistful gaze into the distance. At all the time you're doing this, I'd like you to monitor how much you can let go in your lower back and how light you can be on the inside, how spacious that, be that feels. And the way you experience space is through movement got the idea let's try the other side try not to do anything with your legs even though even you're likely to use your legs and your groins and things to pull yourself around if you do that notice and then just um, place your hands down lean a little bit of weight through them so that the wings can um, be behind you and take your attention into space the surrender of the weight from your um, lower back will allow you to be upright without you holding your lower back. The, that lightness on the inside will allow a kind of gentle um, gathering together around the space that you're creating. It, that, that sort of drawing, gentle drawing of the belly back and up goes with your being interested in space in your face goes with the arriving breath and when you release the breath if you can trust your hand making sure that you're not, not holding yourself up with your back if you can also get a sense of your your base your legs your weight dropping away from you in a kind of uh, equal kind of way so no part of you is any heavier than the other on the ground you might find that this thing that you're involving yourself in space with allows you to be there with a lot of space on the inside. Because the thing, that you're, the thing I'm inviting you to do is relax on the inside so that you can support yourself from what you're doing outwards. So it's one direction of engagement. The intention being to have space on the inside so you can let go of those deep inner tensions because you're supporting yourself with your touch through the breath of its release. So a simple example. 
The opposite example is when you want to support yourself from within in order to float outwards, in order to relax outwards. Okay, so a different intention. Now, the clues you got as to how you do that is to do with what you can do with that space once you've got it. So if you just briefly go to the first side of it, and if you are relaxing your back, then your organs won't be heavy. So in relying on your hands for a moment, you can get relaxed in your lower back and empty in your core, empty in your lower half. See if you can, and then with, with, with that sort of softness, that internal space that you create by being supported from what you're doing without, with your hands outwards, I'd like you to start to work on the inside to kind of collect together around that space actively. Um, you'll do it more effectively with the release of the breath. So take a breath, trusting your hands. When you release the breath, make sure that your you, the navel draws back, not to pull you down, but just to collect together around the space you've created. So you take a breath by leaning into your hands and relaxing. Do that in space with your face. And before you release the breath, just check your hands can support you, gather your belly together, and then as you release the breath, you can release the support of the hands and give it to your ground underneath your base. And you'll find when you've done that, you'll be supported in a twist, but not by you pulling around with your groins, but by the way the belly muscles have organized themselves to support the space inwards but also do it again leans your hands relax your back take a breath gather the belly together before you release the breath just bear down with the chest a little bit to, to your base until you don't need your hands in then let the breath go don't push the breath out let the breath go and in that moment of release it will be your core coming up and your ribs going down that is doing the turning as opposed to you pulling yourself around with your arms or your legs to the other side so you set it up the, the reason I get you to do the first one first is so that you can learn how to not hold yourself up with your back when the breathing gear the core and the ribs work together to uh, to use the ground for support um, that breathing action can quite naturally move you freely around in space without you having to pull yourself around with your limbs. Okay, so we're, I'm, I'm starting you off by getting you to relax your back, so lean into your hands, relax your back, have your face in space and your core light. And what you do to organize the changeover from uh, supporting the softness on the inside from what you're doing outside the other way around is to um, take a breath by dropping into your hands. When that breath is within you, the, you kind of gather it together. <coughs> you gather the navel back and that can be given to your sit bones. And whilst you're still retaining the breath, your chest needs to find the ground. So there's a bearing down of the held breath. And uh, try and relax the pelvic floor so you feel a little bit like you're trying to fart. <laughs> when you've got that feeling, the, the, the gathering itself, the squeezing, the holding of the breath, is the thing that's supporting you where you are in space. So the, the arms are no longer necessary, nor are you pulling yourself round with your hips. So in that moment, uh, it's, I'm, because I'm talking about it, it's taking way too long. So do try this a few times uh, and I'll go through it again. Relax into your hands, relax your back. Relax inside. Find that space you want by being in space, in your face. Take a breath. Hold it, and we're going to change gear whilst you're holding the breath. 
belly the navel draws back the chest and ribs bear down through your base when you've got that effort going on just let go of the breath you don't have to keep pushing and what you'll find is the core and the ribs naturally work together to support you where you are and the limbs the arms will be light in space to give it a, a purpose because all we've, all we've done is we've woken up the strength of your breathing responses but to give it a purpose um, you can then extend a limb so uh, first side relax your back support from without to within so that within can soften so your back can relax now whilst you're there just sort of tuck yourself in on the inside gather your, gather your navel back make sure your chest can drop down whilst, you can, whilst you're supported externally by your hands make sure your chest can fall away from your face and then take a breath leaning to your hands and those things should be working already you hold the breath so you can change gear and as you hold the breath you squeeze a bit more with the na behind the navel to bear down like you're farting a bit and you bear down with your chest whilst you hold the breath and that is a position in space that the breath is uh, supporting you within the held breath if you let go of the breath inside of that you should find that the core and ribs are doing their thing without you having to pull yourself around do it again this time as you release the breath without the need to support yourself with your hands just float your fingers away from you you'll find the outward action the arm itself is floating but just that little intention to grow your fingers away from you will cause the ribs to do more will cause the core to do more try and avoid the temptation to lift Try and let go of any sensation of holding the weight of the arm up. You want that shoulder to drop. And again on the other side. So set it up from the beginning. Support from your outward action so inside can become spacious and relaxed, including your spine. Whilst you're there, just wake up the core responses. Gather, gather yourself together and and the navel, get your chest to find the ground underneath your base take a breath with that and you have to relax the pelvic floor get ready, your core and your ribs are working with the ground to support you where you are and I'd like you to release the breath away from you, uh, within you as you float your fingers away from you nice relaxed heavy shoulder when it's travelled, just swing it behind and can't go back to catching hold of something and relaxing from your touch. Okay. Um, I, I'll do some other postures for my um, in a kind of a full class for my um, silver members. Oh, like all my premium members and if you want to get access to that you can sign up for a week a week's free trial um, and after that it's about a pound a week for a, a, a new class most weeks and there's about 200 of these now um, a back catalogue of about 200 of these yoga solutions things covering all sorts of topics and um, yeah if you, if you want to get some good value you can sign up for silver membership um, Yes, other than that, I'm, uh, I'll be doing my weekend workshop this Saturday. Uh, you can come and join me for that. I've got a, a yoga holiday retreat in Turkey, um, co-hosted by Tuesday McNeil in July. And I shall be at the World Yoga Festival in August. And uh, So come and see. Come and work with me. It'll be fun. And, uh, yeah, uh, and if you, if you want... Um, to check me out on a personal level, um, see if see if we're a fit, then you can always book a free 15 minute session with me. And I, I like to try and give you solutions for whatever you're interested in, 
even in that fight. 15 minutes if I can. All right. Um, other than that, I shall uh, say goodbye and I shall see you same time, maybe not same place next week. I'm in Barcelona next week. Uh, so um, uh, I'm, I might do a, a yoga solutions from there if I can. All right, my dears. Much love. Bye now.